There he is, right there. Wow, did that fish smash it. Oh yeah, this feels like a good fish. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. This feels like a good one. You know, I mean, it's always hard to tell. You got, I got a lot of line out there. I'm trolling midsummer. There's nothing as far as I'm concerned as effective at catching walleyes. When you get into that, you know, mid late summer time frame, when those fish start scattering and they're all over, now's the time. I'm actually gonna turn the boat a little bit here. It's kind of fighting things a little bit. And I think I'm making it a little tougher even to, to deal with that fish. There we go. I was kind of pulling him around the backside, back corner a little bit. But when these fish get scattered out, Man, I'll tell you what, trolling crankbaits just become such, such a effective way to get on fish. Because you're covering ground, you're finding them, and then with all the bait that's in the lake right now, when they have their choice of what they wanna eat, here's what you're doing with a crankbait you're triggering a strike. And when you trigger strikes, when you're doing something like this that triggers strikes, you just flat out catch more fish. I mean, that's all there is to it. And this fish here, he ain't a giant, but I'll tell you what, he's an awful nice walleye. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. I'll take that every day right there. Look at that. That's what we're all doing today. We're whacking on good midsummer walleyes. I want to tell you a little bit about what I'm using and why I'm using it. Because here's the thing. If you use baits that do what this one's doing for me, you're going to catch more fish. So let's get this one unhooked. And then I want to show you, he's nice and calm in the net. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to leave him there, pop that hook just like that, lift him up, show him to you. We'll get him back. Look at that. Nice walleye. We'll get him back. And here's the thing that I want to explain. Crankbaits in general, there, there's all kinds of cranks. I mean, there's a whole different pile of cranks you can use, but one of my favorites of all time is a Rogue. And here's why. What a Rogue does for you is number one, gives you a whole bunch of styles and actions. You can get a shallow diving, which is just a floating Rogue. You can get a suspending Rogue like this one right here that I'm using right now. You can get an Elite 8, you can get a Perfect 10, and you can get a Top 20 Rogue. All of them have great actions. They all have great rattles. I mean, you hear that there? And I'll tell you what, these fish, in general, they can tune in on it. And that high pitch rattle, that's just the kind of rattle that in general, walleyes really, really like and can tune in on. But here's the really neatest thing, I think, when it comes to fish and rogues. When it comes down to it, you can fish these things on lead core in deep water like I'm doing today, or you can turn around and you can fish them in any different depth from zero all the way down to 20, 25 feet of water along shorelines, along break lines, whatever it may be. Rogues are just awesome. One last thing about a rogue. Here's what makes it so deadly. Rogue has a signature action to it. The Smithwick Rogue actually gets an extra roll to it. So it's not just wiggling back and forth. You get that extra roll. And when you've got that, you've got something else that attracts fish, draws them into that bait and makes them attack. That's what makes a rogue so awesome. It's one of my favorite big fish baits of all time. And when it comes down to it, it'll be one of yours too, as long as you put some of them in the water and troll them, because you'll catch big fish. You'll catch numbers, you'll catch whatever it is you're chasing. Awesome baits.